Gabriel Aldord coming to you live from Winter Nam 2016 Yamaha World. I'm here with Kraft Music. It is my great honor to present this year's successor to the best in class DGX 650. Ladies and gentlemen, the DGX 660. Now, everything about the DGX 650 resides in the 660. There are some incredible new enhancements that we've added, though. One of them, right here, I'm using it as we speak. We've added a microphone input. So there's a quarter inch jack right on the back with its own dedicated gain knob. So you don't have to go into software to adjust the gain. There's a physical gain knob on the back, which is very convenient. Also, there's a dedicated mic setting button. So I can go in and actually have presets for my voice. Here's a standard preset, which has got some reverb on it. Here's a brighter preset. Here's a louder preset. And then here's a user preset where you can set it up exactly the way you want it. This is the one I'm using right now because it's dry, it's great for speaking. And then, aside from that, there's a whole extra page with a compressor built in for your vocal, and you can have access to threshold and ratio. This is stuff, vertical integration. You know, we've brought stuff from the pro music division. You know, we have a legacy of, of doing a digital signal processing. It's made its way into the vocal section of the DGX 660. Also, there's a noise gate. There's a three-band EQ with a visual representation of the, of the EQ curve. So that's all right there. So you can really custom tailor your vocal. Anybody, whether they're an aspiring vocalist or a professional vocalist, can really fine-tune their vocals just the way they want them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that we've added a feature that was before this only on high-end CVP Clavinovas, and that is Piano Room. Piano Room is a dedicated mode where you go in just to play the piano, and there's four different pianos and four different environments. So here I'm playing a nine-foot concert grand, of course, all pure CF samples, which means that we sampled these pianos from our Yamaha CF acoustic pianos. Beautiful. So that's the nine foot concert grand. I'm playing it in a concert hall. I can also close the lid, all right? And as you can see, the tonality is very different. These are all totally individual samples. Or I can open the lid halfway or open it up all the way. Aside from that, we have a pop grand, okay? Which is great, real punchy. One thing I really like is we kept the ability to go in and record a stereo wave file directly to a thumb drive, okay, in Piano Room. So if I have an idea, I can go in and actually record. Baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna hail. Baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna hail. Right there, quick, easy, don't have to exit Piano Room to record. Records it directly to the USB thumb drive, and you can play it back. Baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna hail. So that's cool. So you've got Piano Room. There's also, uh, we threw in a nice warm piano, which is nice, and one of my personal favorites, Honky Tonk. So Piano Room, definitely a new addition. Now, I'm going to move on and tell you about an exciting new feature that we have. Uh, optional wireless connectivity for the first time with a DGX. So, this is a UDWL01. Alright, this is a Yamaha device. It's a USB wireless device. All I have to do is insert it into the USB to device. And there's two ways to connect the DGX 660 wirelessly to an iDevice, which means iPad, anything iOS, okay? iPhone, iPod Touch. I can either connect it to an existing Wi-Fi network, okay? Or I can connect it 
in what we call ad hoc mode, which means that it's communicating directly with the iPad. So that's what I have going on here. And I can now stream audio wirelessly from my iDevice directly to the speakers of the DGX 660. Now, I'm going to show you, because I like to save the best for last, one of the coolest forward-thinking apps that we have that takes advantage of this wireless connectivity. So, I always like to save the best for last. I have here Chord Tracker. Okay, now Yamaha has invested heavily in app development, and this is no exception. This is Chord Tracker. It's absolutely free on the App Store. Okay, now when I launch Chord Tracker, what it does essentially is it gives me access to my iTunes music library. Okay, so I can select any song in that library, and like magic, it'll take audio and convert it to a chord chart. I'm going to say that again. It takes audio and converts it to a chord chart. And I'm going to play it right now. Okay, this is wireless. So it's streaming wirelessly to the DGX 660. Be But it gets even better. Not, you know, that that's super cool. But I can push this data to the DGX 660, okay? And if we come over here, you'll see that when I go into song, I have now Michelle the Beatles, okay? So if I pull up the score display, I have the same chord progression that was displayed in Chord Tracker. But this is where it gets really fun. Now I can take that... And let's say I can play back that chord progression using any style within the DGX. So let's say maybe I want to hear uh, Michelle in reggae, okay? So I would just go over here to the Latin section and find some reggae. There we go. And then go back to song. Michelle is selected. Maybe slow the tempo down a little. And now it's playing the chords to Michelle in reggae. It's so cool. It opens up so many possibilities. And I could do that with any style. I could do it with country. I could do it with rock and roll. I could do it with Latin. Uh, We've increased the polyphony from 128 to 192. Uh, as always, it has the six-track recorder. It's got a beautiful score display, so you can see the score. Um, and it has an auxiliary input on the back. Uh, another great feature that I think we added it is right here, it's pictured with the LP7A pedal board, okay? Now the DGX 660, just like the 650, comes with the stand, okay? But the pedal board's optional. Now if I'm using the pedal board, then I have an extra sustain uh, jack in the back. So now we can assign that pedal jack. So I can assign the pedal jack to turn the mic on and off. I can use it uh, for tap tempo or portamento. So that's a cool feature for a live musician. So yeah, you know, once again, microphone input with dedicated gain control and, and, and full featured mic settings. Uh, piano room with different environments to play the piano. Uh, optional wireless connectivity. Uh, increased polyphony, increased voices. 554 voices now and 205 styles. Same price point, DGX 660. It's going to be hitting the stores very soon. It's available in black. It's available in white. I'm Gabriel Aldort. It's always a pleasure to be working with Kraft Music. Thanks for coming to Yamaha World Winter Nam 2016. And I'll see you guys real soon. When you're smiling. Baby, when you're smiling, the whole world, it smiles with you. When you're smiling, baby, when you're smiling, yeah. And all that sun comes shining through. When you're crying, whoo -hoo, will you bring on that rain? Well, stop that sighing, stop it now. And be happy again when you're smiling. Baby, when you're smiling, the whole world 
smiles, the whole world smiles, the whole world smiles with you. Oh, yeah.